Well, Sweet Baby Inc. has another game coming out fairly soon called Marvel's Wolverine. And we're getting the first look at what Jean Grey looks like. And uh, this makes the Sonic, the ugly Sonic movie, look amazing. Well, we all know when Sweet Baby Inc. is involved as a narrative design for studios, that it's just gonna fall fall to the waistline. The, the game is probably just gonna fall off and not be optimized in the first place. And right now, from things I'm seeing with the game, it looks like they took and went back to the PlayStation 1 for their graphics. Now, below me is a Jean Grey that I had AI art make a rendition of. Quite simply, it's not bad for AI art. It is AI art, it's not a normal everyday uh, version of Jean Grey, but I guess this would probably be more appealing than what I'm about to show you. What, and it's absolutely horrific. But before I do show you the leaks that they are showing for Jean Grey, subscribe to the channel. That's the one thing I have to ask out of all the people that do watch this video, subscribe to the channel. We're pushing upwards. Help me get to 3000 subscribers today. Now, this is a Sweet Baby Ink post, Thwip and also Sync. So excited and grateful to say that we are part of the teams bringing Spider-Man 2 and Wolverine to life with the amazing folks at Insomniac Games. It's been a truly marvelous experience. Love, web, is that a honey badger in the at the end there? I'm not quite sure. Or I guess it's supposed to be a Wolverine. Without further ado, Jean Grey, the new Jean Grey for the Wolverine. Now, this looks like Aunt May from Spider-Man, um, maybe the more renditioned version of Aunt May. This doesn't look like no Jean Grey. Where's the physique of Jean Grey? Where is the reborn Phoenix of Jean Grey? This looks like she went shopping for a very poorly designed cocktail dress and going to a bar, a dive bar with Wolverine. Um, this doesn't look anything like what Jean Grey would be. Is Did Jean Grey suddenly become a housewife to Wolverine or Cyclops at this point? In, in, in whatever type of dress this might be that they've put on a, a body that's very androgynous uh, overall. This doesn't look like Jean Grey to me. And it just gets worse. This will haunt your nightmares. This Jean Grey, uh, you know what they are saying is unfinished. These are leaks, but you can see the pixelized neckline down here by her hair at the bottom of the necklace. That look it's giving you is worst then the ugly Sonic may be run over by a car. Marvel's Wolverine video game In Trouble has Sweet Baby Inc. on board. Follows the company having worked on massive failure of Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League. It looks absolutely horrific. Uh, it's sounding as if Rip Wolverine, as it's learned the new video game in development has Sweet Baby Inc. on board, who as advisors who help ruin the recent Suicide Squad, killed the Justice League game to a massive failure of $200 million loss to Warner Brothers. So apparently Sweet Baby Inc. is back with Marvel's Wolverine game from Insomniac Games. Mark Kern, aka Grums, on X, the former lead of World of Warcraft, they say Word of Warcraft, uh, and the producer of Diablo 2 and Starcraft, over goes over big news where the lead artists at major gaming studios reveal his frustrations with the gaming industry. Yesterday, a principal artist lead at major studios Naughty Dog and Rock City Games and Respawn talked about his frustrations at trying to get his designs of beautiful female characters approved at AAA Studios, tweeted Grums every time he concepted the, every time he pitched them, every time he brought them up in meetings, he was ignored. Uh, Grums added inexplicably, each character went from beautiful to grocery store aunties, each version worse than the last. And this is this does not look like the Phoenix Incarnate of uh, Jean Grey. And it 
kind of looks more like Caitlyn Jenner when you kind of get down to it, does it not? Like, it's kind of stunning and brave how very similar this is to Caitlyn Jenner. Anyway, there's other versions that are coming out, and this is another version that has been leaked uh, with Jean Grey looking kind of more like Tom Hiddleston of Loki with long red hair and a flat chest. I mean, where else are we going? These are all images that have sort of popped up uh, in a few places showing how Jean Grey is not what she used to be. And another one that looks like a rendition of the actual voice actress that's playing Jean Grey. This looks like it's an image that's very downgraded to what I can only assume is for a game coming out on the PlayStation 1 at this point. And then another one that's out there. It just does not do Jean Grey any justice whatsoever. And if we look at the Jean Grey of the past, or at least the X-Men 97 version of Jean Grey, at least there's some definition, slight definition, and an hourglass figure that would actually make this more appealing overall. You know, there's other versions of Jean Grey out there that are absolutely amazing versions of her. Uh, you, myself we use the phoenix around here uh as a symbol for the channel gene gray being the essence of the phoenix it, it really is painful to see where she might be today it's absolutely crazy that we are now subjected to this this is the gene gray they are giving us for the new wolverine game and it honestly, it, it looks like it was flushed down a toilet and skibbity -dee came back up and this is what it shot out. Now we know Wolverine being a Sweet Baby Ink game, they've got to push and promote every agenda they can think of into this game just to bring it down to a level that I guess is going to make everyone feel like if they don't play it, they're an ism of some sort. I'm even hearing rumors that Wolverine in the in this video game is going to be gay. I don't know what truth is to that, but it just seems like it's a very far stretch to what Wolverine is as a character. The the symbolization of who he is, um, him being a Canadian as well for the character. He when Stan Lee created the X Men, it was it was a completely different attitude to what we are seeing today. Yes, the X Men were created in a time where uh, division was something that was going on, and it really brought that to the forefront um, and became something more. And it became a story about storytelling. But today, it's no longer a story about storytelling. It's a story that has to sit there and shift the narrative and tell you that if you're even watching or playing these games, you're doing something wrong by not listening to the message they are pushing in there. It's no longer about the good stories and no longer about good design characters. It's more about the money that they can get out of uh, government entities before this game comes to market now. I don't know. I I don't think Wolverine is going to do very well, especially with Sweet Baby Ink at the helm. And if this is the first looks that we're getting of Jean Grey in the game, uh, I mean, I it, it's ready to move on from Marvel completely. Anyway, I'm your Prog King Phoenix in the Shadow. I'm signing off here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And hey, if you want to help support the channel too, there is a Patreon and you can do super thanks or super chats all those fun things that help support the channel. Till next time, you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.